Good day everybody and welcome back to the X-Explorer for another video. Today we have one more review for uh, another nice multimeter from Kaiwitz. Uh, for the today's video we have the KM601S. Um, it's I believe an improved version of the uh, KM601. So let's have a closer look to um, everything we have in here. So, first thing, uh, we have the manual, which is uh, always a, a good thing to, to read it, uh, to make sure that you're not going to break your multimeter right after you purchased it. Um, so, take a, take a quick look, see all the functions and uh, all the precautions that you have to take when using the multimeter, because it's a good idea. So, the multimeter comes with a very nice protective pouch. And uh, inside we have the usual uh, temperature probe, we have the test leads and also we have the charging cable. And uh, this is the surprise of the KM601S, uh, same like the KM602 that I presented in an older video. Uh, this one right now it comes with a rechargeable battery, internal battery. Uh, so, no need to uh, replace batteries all the time. We're done with that. <laughs> so, uh, let's have a look at the multimeter really quick. Alright, so uh, here we have the Kaiwitz KM601S. Um, I did not have uh, the KM601 in the past, but I've seen videos online. And if I remember, that one used to have regular batteries. So, of course, as I was saying earlier, this one comes with the... Um, internal rechargeable battery which is great and uh, if I'm taking a closer look at the um, the protective uh, cover it seems uh, even better designed right now so uh, yeah you can drop it on the floor and uh, you're not risking to to break the screen unless it will fall on a rock maybe <laughs> hopefully not we should be careful with the with the measurement equipment that we have so anyway, uh, right here on top we have the power button and also the DC plug. So this is what we're going to use to recharge the internal battery. I'm going to hold the power button for a little bit and it will turn on and it goes automatically in the smart mode or auto mode. So uh, right here we have the range button, then we have the hold button, we have the... Um, functions uh, changing the functions the buttons uh, forward and backwards minimum and maximum and the select of course the select button if we hold it a little bit longer it will also go uh, and uh, turn on the torch which is uh, quite useful sometimes we're gonna turn it off in the automatic mode it will uh, measure voltage resistance and uh, continuity and uh, over here with these menu buttons we are going to change the functions right now we are in voltage uh, DC and uh, I believe from here we can change to AC going back to DC and then we are going to resistance uh, I think this is automatic range um, here we have the continuity diodes, capacitance, millivolts, uh, frequency, temperature, NC, um, NCV uh, life, milliamps, amps, and we're going back to automatic. So it's really, really easy to use actually. I, uh, I didn't really ha had uh, the time to read the manual. I'm uh, I started using the multimeter right away and uh, it's great because it's kind of intuitive you don't have to to be the smartest man to <laughs> learn how to use the multimeter so it's great for beginners uh, that did not uh, use the multimeter before over here on the bottom we have the, um, the inputs for the test leads um, the amps, milliamps, uh, the ground and the input for resistance and voltage and uh, capacitance and so on and uh, of course, when you are changing the, the function on the menu uh, to, to measure different things, 
let's go to continuity it will light up and tell you exactly where you're supposed to connect your test leads and i think that's uh, that's a great thing for for beginners <laughs> i actually on one of my older multimeters i i burned it out um, well actually i just burned out the fuse uh, because i connected the the test leads in um, in the wrong spot uh, but that was a cheap one so uh, it was not not such a big issue <laughs> i just replaced the fuse actually and it, it started working um, of course um, as usual from the from uh, the multimeter from kaiwitz i'm impressed about the accuracy of the measurement uh, so far i've been testing this is the third one the third multimeter from kaiwitz and i'm really happy about the the um, the multimeter so yeah i'm pretty sure that uh, the expensive uh, multimeters are great but maybe not all <laughs> and not always so yeah uh, one thing that i like about the the kaiwitz multimeters is the very affordable price even for beginners in um, um, for example in my case in the amateur radio hobby especially if you're building stuff and you need uh, a good quality multimeter um, another great thing about this multimeter is that uh, it comes with this uh, thing on the back that you can actually uh, put it on the on the desk and uh, you can do your measurements uh, very nice and uh, always keep an eye on the multimeter so this is great if you if you watched my my la latest video about the km602 uh, which is a smaller version of this multimeter um, I'm going to use that one for portable in my amateur radio hobby to uh, do measurements while I'm in the field and uh, that is because of the size because it's uh, a little bit smaller and uh, that makes it great for portable and this one it's actually the second favorite <laughs> multimeter that i have uh, i'm totally in love with the, with the other one that is small but this one is great uh, for the um, for my desk over here so this is what i'm using what i'm using now the for my day-to-day -day use uh, just because it has this thing and it's really easy to to keep it here on the desk and uh, it's amazing so yeah uh, let's do some measurements and tests and uh, show you how uh, how it works before we're going to do any measurements uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the internal battery so it's a built-in ba rechargeable battery um, and uh, it lasts quite some time i didn't get to uh, <laughs> to um, finish the battery yet but uh, when it's done and you have to recharge it you're going to use the cable and the usb uh, use anything you have a phone charger the output uh, the usb output from your laptop maybe a battery pack and uh, it will charge it in no time now with the test leads of course we have the usual they have protective caps over here which sometimes are kind of hard to take out but it's a good thing to have when you're not using the the cables and we have this protective cover on top uh, on the tip of the, um, the test leads another great thing because um, again um, as i'm always saying about this if you have a tight space and you don't want to touch anything else you're just going to put the protective cover on top so let's connect them to the multimeter and do some test measurements okay so the kaiwitz km601s it has uh, 10,000 counts through rms so very precise measurement uh, really good and uh, as you turn it on i was saying earlier it goes automatically into the auto mode or smart mode it's written on the screen auto so i always say auto uh, so it will measure um, voltage uh, resistance and continuity so right now we're just going to test for continuity and it works <clears throat> now let's test the dead battery it's not quite dead but uh, almost there so let's do that really quick okay it's the other way around I'm just going to change the test leads so it tells me it has 7.182 volts and it's great actually I checked earlier with another multimeter and uh, <laughs> it's about the same so um, it's a good thing 
All right, that's the voltage. Now let's measure resistance. And I have this uh, dummy load resistor over here. I'm going to uh, measure this one. 49.2, 49.3 ohms. That's what we get. So uh, here's the dummy load that I have to use for my... Um, <laughs> for my uh, RF dummy load that I want to build and uh, yeah I have to say thanks to my friend Andre for the present so right now I connected the temperature probe and uh, right here we have it if I hold it in my hand the temperature will rise so I have 30 t uh, 33 uh, Celsius and uh, 92 Fahrenheit 93 Anyway, uh, it works great and uh, it's always good to have, especially in the amateur radio hobby. So uh, I actually never measured uh, diodes in my uh, review video, so I'm just going to test. To oh, sorry, I have to change the function. All right, I'm going to... And of course, I forgot to connect the test lead. I'm going to put this in really quick and let's do a measurement okay and if we go the other way around what do we get nothing okay so the diode is good all right okay now i'm going to move it into capacitance mode and I'm going to measure the maximum capacity of this variable capacitor. I used this one in my other uh, review video of the um, Kaiwitz KM602 and we are going to measure the capacity 505 I mean it's uh, 0 0.5 sorry I'm not touching properly 0.506 nanofarad so that means it's 506 picofarads now this is the maximum let's go to minimum because <laughs> i was told that in the last video i didn't measure the minimum capacity so here we have around 16 picofarads earlier I measured it it was telling me 18 but it's probably about the way I'm touching the because now when I'm filming I'm actually not very <laughs> it's very hard to be precise over there um, placing the leads so anyway yeah uh, 16 picofarads 18 picofarads something like that uh, is that what I measured earlier so it's a um, it's a great tool to have here on my desk and uh, of course I have to say thank you to Kaiwitz for sending me this one. Um, it's really great and, uh, and I'm really pleased with, uh, with this multimeter. Congratulations uh, Kaiwitz for uh, creating another um, really nice uh, smart digital multimeter. I'm very happy about it and of course it will sit here on my desk now and uh, yeah it's great. It's, uh, it's very useful um maybe if they uh, they hear me it would be nice if maybe sometime in the future we would be able to also uh, measure inductances uh, but like something like small values um, who knows maybe something from uh, 0 0.1 micro henry up to i don't know but um, i am i'm having problems <laughs> finding um um, a, a, an LC meter that can measure very small uh, inductances um, so far um, the the ones that I found and I purchased they can all only measure from uh, 10 uh, micro Henry's and up and uh, in the radio hobby uh, most of the time we are measuring small values so who knows maybe uh, Kaiwitz will make my dream come true and uh, one day we'll have uh, either one um, LC meter designed by them or maybe the function included into the multimeters that uh, they are uh, building very very well so again always I'll be happy to recommend this one and uh, 
Thank you one more time, uh, Kaiwitz, for sending it uh, for a review. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, until next time, 73.